Hello everybody, this is Max Neal and welcome to MaxNeal.com. Today we're going to learn what is a chord. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring the notification bell. Let's begin. A chord is a superposition of three or more notes. If we superpose only two notes, we will get a harmonic interval, not a chord. Chords are built by superposing intervals of thirds. Although there are chords using intervals like fourth, we will learn the ones using thirds now. If we play all the notes on the chord at the same time, this will be called plaque or block chord. And if we play them separately, this will be called arpeggio or broken chord. The chords using three notes are called triads and they're constructed by using two intervals of a third. As we learned on a previous video on intervals, there are two types of third. The major third that has two tones between the notes, for example, C, and E and the minor third that has a tone and a half between the notes for example C and E flat if we combine these intervals we will have four types of triads and like before with the scale every chord type will have a specific interval design or formula the major triad has a major third and a minor third, and its formula is tonic, major third, and perfect fifth. For example, C, E, and G. The minor triad has a minor third and a major third, and its formula is tonic, minor third, and perfect fifth. For example, C, E flat, and G. The minor flat 5 triad has two minor thirds, and its formula is tonic, minor third, and diminished fifth. For example, C, E flat, and G flat. The augmented triad has two major thirds, and its formula is tonic, major third, and augmented fifth. For example, C, E, and C sharp. Chords can be played in different dispositions. If we play a chord with its tonic as the lower tone, this will be called tonic position. On popular music, the notation will be the letter or the name of the chord, for example, C or G. On classical music, this will be represented with a scale degree and the intervals contained. For example, if we play the C chord, we will have a fifth on the outer interval and a third on the inner interval. If we play a chord with its third as the lower tone, it will be called first inversion. On popular music, the notation will be the name of the chord, a slash bar, and the name of the bass note. For example, C with the bass on E. E, C, and G. On classical music is the scale degree and the intervals contained. For example, a six and a third. If we play a chord with its fifth as the lower tone, this will be called second inversion. For example, C with the bass on G. 
It's G, C, and E. And on classical music, this will be represented with the scale degree and the intervals contained. For example, a 6 from G to E and a 4th from G to C. Now as an assignment, try to form all different chord types starting on different tonics. Write your answer on your comment. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at Max Needle Guitar. Give me a thumbs up and share the video. And please leave a comment too. Thanks for watching.